So as we were talking about the luminance, uh, when I first did uh, SHO processing and I came in here and I started looking around, I'm like, wow, it's a great looking image. But when you zoom in here like this, you got all this chrominous noise, this, this pixelation. I don't know what you call it, man. This, this looks horrible. And so I was attacking this with major uh, noise reduction steps, trying to smooth this out. I was like, I don't get this. You know, I don't understand what, what the draw on this is. And I don't understand what I'm doing here. So I'm going to show you how to really clean this up and create a very, very smooth image. And the first step to that with this image here is we're going to convolute this image. It means to blur. So we're going to open up our tool here curl convolution. We're going to open up a real time preview and we can reset it. So our image looks pretty normal. Um, we're going to come over here to the standard deviation slider, the bottom one. We're going to push it over and push it right here. Do we start to see our image blur? We don't want it super blurry, but what we're doing by blurring that image, let's accept that right there is we're effectively taking all of that pixelation and smoothing it out. If you zoom back in here right now, what are you seeing? You're seeing color. You know, when I shoot RGB, luminance RGB images, I shoot the luminance and then I shoot loops on RGB. Why? Because I just want the color. You know, I, I'm going to blur it anyway. So critical focus on RGB isn't necessary. I get it close. And so essentially that's what I'm doing here. I've got a nice blurry image with all of that noise smoothed out. And you're like, man, we just did all that work. What the heck? So let's minimize this image. I'll push it right over here so I know where it's at. And I'm going to come back over here to our HA that was automatically background extracted. Okay. And it's still, if we hit F12, it's still in the linear state, right? And it's, it's good signal, but it's got some noise in the background. So let's eliminate some of that noise. So what we're going to do is we're going to, like I showed you before, we're going to drag this uh, little band off here. We're going to create a clone of that image. We're going to open up our histogram transformation. We're going to take this little instance like we did. We're going to stretch this image. Bam. Now you can see that is our stretch. Let's kill our uh, preview, drag it over and drop it. And now we've got a, a nonlinear image. We hit F12, right? That is a mask. What we've essentially done is created a mask. We're going to take this mask and we're going to reapply it to the image just like that let's minim minimize our mask down here remove it and we want to work on the background so right now our background is protected so let's right click on the image come down here to mask and we're going to invert the mask so the signal is protected the background is vulnerable Let's right click on the image here, go to mask and go show mask. So remember, it's still applied, but all this background is vulnerable. So what we want to do is, is some of these tools, we want to do previews. We want to see what's going to happen before we apply it to the whole image. And this little square up here, zoom in, this little square right here says new preview, has nothing on it. Let's click it. Let's come right here in the background and just draw a little box. And see, now we've got this little tab that says preview one. So we come here to preview one and we can see this noise that's in here. You know, I have a cool, you know, mono camera. There's still noise. And we're going to do some linear uh, noise reduction. And the tool we're going to use for that is multi-scale linear transform, a very robust tool with tons of capabilities um, that I'm going to use in a pretty basic form. I've got algorithms set to Starla transform. And what I'm doing here, because I've got the noise reduction checked, is these are my settings. You're more than welcome to copy them down. But I'm attacking the first four levels or layers of noise, strongest on layer one and progressively getting weaker as we go higher in the layers here. Um, and I also want to make sure that I'm, my target is luminance. So you've got different choices down here, but you definitely want to target the luminance. Okay, so let's zoom back out. So again, we're gonna take this instance, we're gonna drag it over. 
drop it onto the preview. And this runs pretty quick, um, but it is going to attack all four levels. And it actually attacks the image faster. So hopefully see the difference. So help me out, but uh, here on a PC, I'm going to hit Control, Shift, and Z or Z. Not sure how you do that in Mac, but this is like a toggle. So you can see noise, noise gone, noise, noise gone. Stars are protected. So let's click back to the image here. And now we're just going to apply that noise reduction to the image. And this happens super fast. So don't worry. So now our noise reduction has been applied. We're still in a linear state. So let's minimize the tool. And guess what? I'm going to talk all about Pixel Insight tonight, and I'm not going to bring up deconvolution once. Not going to use it. You can use it, and it'll work good if you can figure out how to use it. It does work pretty good, but it's not something that I'm going to dive into because I'm going to do a little bit of sharpening at the end uh, in the nonlinear state. So we're not going to do anything else to this image here except for stretch it. So let's remove the mask. Remember, right click on the image mask and say remove mask. Okay. Same thing, histogram transformation. We'll reset the tool if we want to. Let's drag that information up. Drop it onto the lower band here. Uh, kill the uh, auto stretch. And then make that permanent. Let's minimize the tool. So this is our HA that's now been stretched. It's had background noise reduction. We haven't done anything to the signal or the high signal areas. So we're going to take that and we're going to apply it to this image. So let's create a little preview box around this really cool area right here. Let's go into the preview box. Okay. And the tool that we're going to use to join these two together is LRGB. LRGB combination. Let's open it up. And let's reset the tool so it's default. Okay. So we want to turn off our red, green, and blue because we're not using them. Um, we want to grab this HA. We're going to drag that up here. We're going to drop it right on the luminance. Now, here's another thing that's very counterintuitive, uh, but something that took me a while to learn. Let's zoom in on it here. If we want to add saturation to this image, we're going to move the slider down. Yeah, we're going to move it down. If we want to darken up the image and not be so fuzzy and faded and bright, we're going to increase the lightness. Yeah. So let's not check the chrominance noise reduction just yet uh, because we don't want to go through that process. We just want to see how this data is going to affect this image. Let's just drag it over. Let's drop it onto the image. Bam. I say bam a lot. But I don't know about you guys, but that's crazy awesome. I mean, this is seeing this for the first time and seeing that process of applying your HA, you, you go to all the trouble to shoot that HA, use it as a luminance because instantaneously this looks phenomenal. It's beautiful. I'm sorry, it's just beautiful. Um, we can still do some more work to it, but really, really dig in. And so now we want to apply that to the whole image. Um, but we definitely want to make sure that chrominance noise rejection or reduction is checked because that's also going to apply some obviously noise or color noise reduction to the image when it's applied. So definitely want to make sure that's checked. Uh, but this is a pretty lengthy process. When if I were to drag the innocence and drop it onto the image, it's a pretty lengthy process. So I have already done that. I'm going to minimize that image. And this is it right here. It's a little dark and you're going to find that it will come in to be just a little bit dark. But watch what we're going to do to kind of brighten this image up. When we talked about pulling luminance, now we're going to pull luminance. We could reapply that HA, but let's come up here. Um, let me zoom in to this extract. All right, where'd it go? The CIAL component, which is basically your luminance. So let's just click it. And this happens pretty quick. 
So it almost looks just like the HA, right? But what we've done is we've ex extracted the luminance or the lightness of the image, and we're just going to take it and reapply it as a mask. Let's minimize it. Move it over here. Right click on the image, come down here to mask, and we're going to say show mask. So remember, our mask is still applied. We're going to open up the curve transformation tool. We're going to start a or open up a real time preview window here. We're going to go to the RGB and we're going to create two S curves. We're just going to brighten it. We're going to pull it down. We're going to go in here to the lightness. We're going to brighten that just a little bit and pull it down just a little bit. Okay. And we'll click apply. And reset. So groovy. We've got a really good image.